these dreadlocks turned out amazing. I mean, look at how his hair looked before, and this is what his hair looked like afterward. Today, I'm doing the ultimate hair transformation, turning curly hair into dreadlocks instantly, using only one secret tool that helps lock up the hair really fast. This is DJ, and this is what his hair looked like before, and we're turning it into this in only two hours. So watch all the way to the end of the video if you wanna learn how to do it yourself. All right, let's begin. This is gonna turn out really cool because DJ has a 3B hair type and his hair is red. He also has a high top fade, so this is gonna go by pretty quick. And that's the beauty of doing instant dreadlocks. We're gonna start out by dampening the hair and then brush it all the way through. You want to elongate the hair as much as possible so that when you do the dreadlocks, they don't shrink as much. It seems counterintuitive, but trust me, you wanna do this step. Now DJ did request a thicker dreadlock so he went with an inch by inch section and you can really go as thick or as skinny as you would like. And I'll prove to you that you can go as skinny as you like on any hair type in my next dreadlock transformation. I mean look at these. These are awesome. And these are on straight hair. But let's get back to DJ. We want to start creating the sections and I want to tell you guys that this is the most important part of the entire process because you have to know that your dreadlocks always follow your sections. Whether they're thick or skinny it doesn't matter. Make sure that these are done exactly how you want them to be because in a year from now you want them to look just as good as they are now and it all depends on this moment of creating these sections so take your time we spent about an hour just creating the sections a great tip you can do is use rubber bands at the roots of these sections in order to keep the separation while you're doing the instant locking this speeds up the process when you get into that step but now we get into the fun part, and that is instantly locking up the hair using the secret weapon, the Great Locks Crochet Hook. A link to this is down below. And trust me, you're going to want this tool for yourself if you have dreadlocks or plan on getting them. And I think this video will prove my point. You want to crochet hook as much or as little as you would like. Now, the more you crochet hook, the more mature the dreadlock will become. And the less you crochet hook, the more maturing will need to happen after doing the instant locking process. And there is a benefit to that, and I'll explain. The overall goal here is for you to create your dreadlocks to look the way that you want them to. It's not necessarily to lock them up as tight as possible, it's for you to achieve the look. With DJ's dreadlocks, we left room for natural locking. Now why did we do that? Just like I said earlier, with crocheting them less, it'll obviously leave a little bit more frizz and they'll be a little loose. But here's what happens. When you leave room for the hair to naturally lock up, it looks more natural. It doesn't look like they were instantly locked up like you've seen on Instagram or YouTube videos to where it looks like they're synthetic dreadlocks. Because believe it or not, in a month from now, these are gonna mature a whole bunch, especially after instantly locking them up. And the beautiful thing about it is once they're instantly locked up, they aren't going to come out. Even if they unravel a little bit, they'll still maintain their sections and they will continue to mature from there. I do want to mention that we did seven rows of six, which came out to a total of 42 dreadlocks, which is actually a really good amount since he did request thicker sections and he does have a high top fade. And with him having 42 dreadlocks, it took me roughly two and a half minutes to create each dreadlock, coming out to a total of only two hours to do his entire head. Now, of course, that doesn't include creating the sections. This is simply just crochet hooking the hair. But overall, with this step, just like the other ones, you want to take your time. And the reason you want to take your time is because you want these to look exactly the way you want them to. And as you guys can see, these dreadlocks turned out amazing. It is definitely an ultimate transformation. I mean, look at how his hair looked before, and this is what his hair looked like afterward. But if you guys are saying, well, there's a little bit more frizz, they don't look completely mature, I'm making a part two of this video of me showing you how to make his dreadlocks look more mature. And that video is dropping later this week, so stay tuned for that. In that video, I'm gonna show you how to make the dreadlocks lay down a whole lot better. And most of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to reduce the frizz, and it's with one simple step. I also wanna mention, if you guys wanna become a loctician, or if you just wanna be a pro at doing dreadlocks on yourself, make sure to join one of my classes that are listed down below in the description. I will personally teach you how to do dreadlocks, and you can get paid for this. And remember, you can get the Grey Locks crochet hook and a link down below if you want to do this on your own dreadlocks. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll like the video that I linked in the description as well. I'll see you guys in the part two.